Hi everyone, Flora Sage here, and we have eight minutes, 21 seconds, because I am making bread today. I have a family reunion, and um, I, it's been requested of me to bring my homemade bread, and it is, ooh, it smells so good. Oh my gosh, I could like eat both loaves. <laughs> so anyway, I want to welcome you to a Saturday live stream, an eight minute, actually seven minutes, 58 second live stream, <laughs> where I'm going to kind of chit chat with you a little bit about guilt and self judgment and putting things off and waiting for things to get better. But I need a sip of water first. Hang on. Okay, so. Today I sent an email out to my tribe, to all of you. And I posted it here on my Facebook page. And you all are the type of people who like to get shit done. <laughs> you like to make things happen in your life. However, there are times also when you start to feel a little bit overwhelmed. When you start to feel like, well, all this other stuff is going great in my life, except for this one thing. And because everything else is going so good in this other part of your life, you kind of ignore it or just kind of think that this other thing that's going on that's not quite good or not quite great will get better somehow, some way. And so we're going to go there. We're going to talk about this thing that is not getting any better. <laughs> the thing that you keep kind of sweeping under the rug. That that kind of virtual elephant in the room. It could be a big elephant, it could be a little tiny elephant. But we're gonna go there, we're gonna talk about it. So, a lot of the times people don't set out to have an elephant in their room or bullshit in their room or, or in their life. And I wanna kind of explain to you how we actually even have these things going on in our life. So, let's just say, so, okay. We're gonna look at a couple different things. So being 100 pounds overweight. So you didn't start out that way, all right? So let's just say that you've just recently gained over the past three years 100 pounds or 50 pounds or even 20 pounds. And let's just say that one day you were having a bad day or even a good day and you're like, oh, I'm gonna, okay, this, is, this has been such a great day and I'm gonna have a bowl of ice cream because this is just really exciting. I love ice cream, yay, it's a great day, whatever. So you have a bowl of ice cream. Maybe the next day you have a really sucky day, so you have a bowl of ice cream um, to kind of comfort you. And so you have a couple bowls of ice cream, and then you notice you gained about a half a pound, and you're like, hey, it's just a little bit of weight, it's okay. And then the next week, you're, you've got something else going on, and so you reach for that comfort food, whether it's ice cream or brownies or wine or alcohol or whatever. And you put on a little bit more weight and a little bit more weight, and you say, ah, eh, it's just a little bit of weight, it's just a little bit of weight. And over time, that little bit of weight accumulates and all of a sudden, you're 50 pounds overweight or 20 pounds overweight or 100 pounds overweight and now you've got this huge elephant in the room, your weight, and you realize, holy shit, how did this happen? How did this happen? It's the same thing with addictions. I'll just have a little bit of Coke or I'll just have a little bit of meth or I'll have a little bit of wine or a little bit of bourbon or a little bit of whatever. And then a little bit, and a little bit, and a little bit, and before you know it, you can't function throughout the day without it. Okay? Your, you know, like relationships. Um, you start to meet someone, and you have a great relationship, and you're like, yeah, this is awesome, I love this person, this is really cool. And you got those rose-colored glasses, which we've all been there. And then all of a sudden, they cross a boundary, and you don't say anything. And then they cross another one, and they don't say anything. And you're like, oh, okay. I, I just did a whole class on boundaries. And most boundaries are crossed because they're not known. Other times, boundaries are crossed because the, the limits are being tested of those boundaries. But what happens is when we don't say anything for a significant period of time, that person just assumes that they can do whatever they want. Or... One person does an indiscretion and you don't say anything. Oh, it's just a little indiscretion. Oh, it's just a little text to some other random person. And these little things, again, build up until they're having a full-blown affair with somebody else and they've fallen out of love with you and now they want a divorce, okay? Or they don't even want a divorce. They're just good with the status quo. 
Another thing is, okay, I'm, I'm going to go on to Amazon and I'm going to buy something and then, oh, I'm going to get something, just, just one more thing. And then you buy that and then the next day, oh yeah, I forgot about this and so you buy that thing. Oh, I'm just going to add one more thing. Hence, a, I, you know, shopping addiction. So you start to just spend and spend and spend and spend and spend. Then all of a sudden you use all your available resources and then you get a credit card so that you can then get more and then get another credit card and then you end up with a mountain of debt. So these are virtual elephants in the room. These are kind of pieces of bullshit that you end up realizing it's the one thing, excuse the vernacular, that's fucking everything else up. Your shopping addiction or your debt or your weight or your relationships or um, your health. All of these things start out as, oh, just a little bit, just a little bit, it's just a little bit. And so allowing yourself to recognize that you didn't get this way overnight, that the whole rest of your life you're like, yeah, I got it going on, this is great, but you have this one little section of your life that is just a little bit off, just a little bit okay. And I'm here to tell you that until you make a change, until you actually decide that you want to address it, it's not going to get any better. In fact, it's going to get worse. And so I'm here to tell you, I've got two minutes left because my bread is in the oven. I'm here to tell you that if you don't make a change today, it's going to get worse. Actually, it's, it's going to get even more than worse. These are things, if you have debt, you could lose your house, you could lose all of, you know, basically everything. I've seen it happen to people. If you are overweight, you could lose your life. You could have a heart attack, a stroke, you could get diabetes. There's a whole bunch of other things that you could do. Um, if you're in a very unhealthy relationship, abuse could start. If you have addictions to substances, you could die from an overdose. So I'm here being real with you today. My tribe, you all, are worth and are worthy and deserve a better life. Yes, most of your life is great. Most of your life is hunky-dory. You're like, yeah, that's pretty good. But this one thing, that one thing is the one thing that's fucking everything else up in your life. And I'm here to tell you, until you make the decision, until you just decide to do it, it's not going to get any better. Until you decide to address it or even just acknowledge it, it's not going to get any better. So what I've done is I've created the Bullshit Eliminator 30-Day Reboot Experience where I help you clear all the excuses so that you can finally live a life you love, your entire life, not just this one facet or just this facet. I want you to love your entire life. I've dealt with bullies, I've dealt with codependency, I've dealt with addiction in my life, and this is one of the things, it's hard, it's messy, but you can do it. If I can do it, anybody can do it, trust me. <laughs> so. If you're interested in rebooting your life, if you're interested in finally tackling the bullshit or even just recognizing it and figuring out how to navigate it until you are ready, then click the link below in the comments and check it out. Give yourself permission to really say, all right, I deserve this. I'm, even, I'm just going to check it out and just see what Flora is talking about because you deserve more. You deserve more than what you have now, okay? All right, click the link below. I got to go. My bread is done. Send me email, flora at florasage.com if you've got any questions about the Bullshit Eliminator experience. But hopefully, you'll click the link, join in the program, because everybody needs this program. We all have bullshit that we need to address. <laughs> so click the link, join the program, and I will see you on Monday in the program. Mwah.